in world history. 1976, Elizabeth Taylor got married for the seventh time. On December 4th, 1979, Liza Minnelli got married for the third time. And on December 4th, 2015, Melanie Griffith and Antonio Banderas finalized their divorce for the first time. But on December 4th, 2017, well, that could be the day future historians remember as the day you won HQ, the trivia game show on your phone where you answer questions to win cash. I'm your host with 33 candles in his challah French toast, Scott Rogowski. Because you know what else happened on December 4th? December 4th, 1984, I was born. Shout out to Marty and Toby Rogowski for the amorous Congress, which ultimately led to that beautiful occasion. Shout out to the doctors at Mount Sinai Hospital who performed the emergency C-section that brought me into this world. And shout out to Jay-Z, Tyra Banks, Marissa Tomei, Jeff Bridges, and Fred Armisen, who share my birthday. Hey guys, if you want to get tri- I'm around. I love that I get to celebrate my Jesus year, my patch- Three spicy spice and the whole lot of you. If this is your first visit to HQ Universal Studios, well, let me Scott explain the rules for you. I'm gonna ask 12, 10 plus 2, 12 questions. You have 10 seconds to answer each question from when I start asking the question. If you get it right, you move on to the next round. If you make it to the end, you win or split the cash. You gotta answer all 12 to win the money. And tonight's prize, get this. One thousand dollars, one thousand bucking Broncos, one thousand golden nuggets. That's good for twenty to thirty spray tans. Or you can book a trip to Aruba and get the real deal. You know, real sun on your skin. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines, switch on your do not disturb, swipe away that chat, and get your head in the game. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get this show on the road. May the best. Brain win Q1. Computer keyboards were designed to replicate the feel of typing on what? An abacus, a typewriter. Computer keyboards. Hmm, what came before computer keyboards? Well, for many years. Hundred thirty-two thousand three hundred ninety-seven of you are. Typewriters were very loud. Today's keyboards can also be a little clickety clackety with your cherry keyboards. We have two hundred thirty-two thousand plus typing slowly. Moving on to Q2. What does a cartographer make? Maps, shopping carts, or serving trays? Cartographer. What do they make? these cartographers. Well, break it down. Graph, the Greek root to write. Cart, the Latin root, meaning paper. Writing on paper, making maps. Yeah, that's right. Map maker, map maker, make me a map. 214,859 are charting a course to HQ victory. Don't put the cartographer before the horse. That doesn't make any sense. But 214,000 plus are galloping on to Q3. The star Polaris is also known by what other name? The East Star or the West Star? Polaris. My best friend growing up was named Vito Polara. Again, neither here nor there. Polaris, known by what other name? It's the Pole Star. The North Star, the Guiding Light, 204,707 are looking to the heavens right now, thanking their from our Now the Dallas Stars. What up, Mike Modano? Q4, Nick Clark, Dick Clark, famous for dropping the New Year's Eve ball, hosted which of these TV dance shows? American Bandstand, Soul Train, or Solid Gold? Dick Clark, not Nick Clark. I'm looking at my producer, Nick, here. Dick Clark. He puts the dick in Dick Clark 
He dropped those balls on New Year's Eve, but for many, many years, he also hosted American Bandstand. Beyond Warwick was solid gold, Don Cornelius was Soul Train, but Mr. Dick Clark, 143,019 are rocking and rolling. They're joining together with the band tonight on this Monday night. 143,000 HQDs moving on to Q5. With whom did the Roots collaborate for a Soul Music retrospective album in 2010? D'Angelo, John Legend, or Joss Stone? The Roots, the house band for The Tonight Show now with Jimmy Fallon. In 2020, 2010, he was hosting Late Night. It wasn't The Tonight Show at that point. But The Roots still had a side gig collaborating with John Legend for a great album. So funky, so fresh. Won Grammy for Best R&B Album that year. 98,385 got it right. We just lost close to 40,000 on that one. Ooh, 98,000 plus are hitting the one. Papa's got a brand new bag and it is HQ Q6. What style of painting employs the layering of thick coats of paint? Impasto, tenebrism, or sfumato? Style of painting employs the layering of thick coats of paint. Are you seeing this? Are you getting this? Impasto, tenebrism, sfumato. Has this question been cooked up yet? Are we, this question's actually still cooling down. It just came out of the oven, folks. It just came out of the trivia kitchen. You've had a little time to think about it now. Wait, wait for it. Blow on it, cool it off. It's not quite ready yet. Not quite ready yet. You can't dive in too early. You know, you're gonna burn yourself. It's hot. There's a cool down period. Mmm, smells good though. Oh, I like this one. I think it's blueberry. Is this, is this blueberry pie? No, it's a question. You can't eat the questions. How you guys doing? Do you like John Legend? Do you enjoy Chrissy Teigen? You follow them on the social medias? You following HQ on social media at HQ Trivia? Are you following me on social media at Scott Rogowski? On Instagram at Trap Trebek. I'm also the Trap Trebek. It's one of my many nicknames, the Semitic Sajak. The Woke Woolery, the Meshuggah to Martindale. We got it, Q6, it's ready to eat. What style of painting employs the layering of thick coats of paint? I said it once, I'll say it again. Impasto, tenebrism, or sfumato? Art history majors, what up? The layering of thick coats of paint. Well, tenebrism is like a, a really extreme form of chiaroscuro and sfumato is smokiness, but they're both 2D. The 3D feel comes from impasto and impasto alone. No imposters for impasto. 67,151 got it right. Damn, Daniel, we lost 27,000 of you on that one. We're down to 67,000 plus. Andiamo to Q7. Which of these superhero video games was built with the same game engine as Mortal Kombat? Contest of Champions, Injustice Gods Among Us, or Avengers Academy? Still almost 200,000 players watching right now, waiting to see maybe if nobody wins tonight, this money rolls over to the next game. That's how it works here. We got 40,000 answering injustice, gods among us, 40,509. Remember that NetherRealm Studios was given the license to remake Mortal Kombat with DC superheroes. It was temporarily banned in the United Arab Emirates and Kuwait. Finish him, 40,509 are fighting on to Q8. Which of these action movie stars did voiceover work in Finding Nemo? The Rock, Gerard Butler, or Eric Bana? And once you answer this one, why don't you let me know who your favorite Mortal Kombat character is in the chat, huh? If you're in the chat tonight, shout out to Scorpion, shout out to Sub-Zero. Let me know, let me know. But did you answer this one? Time is up, pencils are down. Finding Nemo featured many voiceover artists, actors, including Eric Banna, the voice of Anchor, the vegetarian hammerhead shark. Ooh, boom goes the dynamite on over 30,000 of you, close to 30,000 of you. 13,580, however, are still in the game swimming along here. They found Nemo, but you gotta answer 
More questions tonight. Here's Q9. Trek 2000 International is a company known for manufacturing which products? Healthy snack bars, bicycles, or USB flash drives? We have 13,580 players left here on Q9. You got to know this one. And three more. Trek 2000 International, they invented and have the patent on the thumb drive, which is a USB flash drive. And wow, Savage question. We just took a trip back to the 90s for the pop rock band Savage Garden. We're living in Savage Garden right now, 2003, 98 are moving on, but the rest of you are feeling the burn on that one. USB flash drives, remember those? Do you still use them? It was like the number one swag gift in the late 2000s. Guess when they were introduced for the first time? Trek 2000? In the year 2000. That's when thumb drives were given to us, born on that day, in that year. We have 2,398 players left and we're on Q10. The Israeli TV show Prisoners of War was adapted to create which American show? Homeland, Band of Brothers, or The Unit? Prisoners of War started as an Israeli show. Very quickly, it was adapted for an American audience, bought by the Showtime Network, and called Homeland. That's right, Homeland. Sababa for the 1,555 who got it right. Echol 1,555 are feeling good about that one. Israeli producer Gideon Raff created Prisoners of War and is one of the head writers for Homeland, affording Mandy Patinkin his greatest role since Inigo Montoya. Princess Bride fans out there, 1,555. Moving on to Q11, the penultimate question. The capture of Constantinople by the Ottoman Empire marked the end of which empire? Austro-Hungarian, Mongol, or the Byzantine? Istanbul is Constantinople. It was Istanbul, now it's Constantinople. Constantinople, besieged by the Crusaders. The Fourth Crusade weakened this empire. In 1453, the Ottomans put the nail in the coffin, ending what? The Byzantine Empire, no mas. Byzantine Empire, no mas. And 11.57 left after that. We got some smarties in the game, some smarty HQties out there. Why did Constantinople get the works? That's nobody's business but the Turks. But for 1,157 players, their business right now is answering Q12, going all the way, taking home that turkey bacon, winning the big money. This is it, folks, Q12. Final round, it all boils down to this. 1,157 players vying for $1,000. You must answer the final question. Q12, which of these was among the original four products produced by Estee Lauder in 1946? Eyeliner, lipstick, or skin lotion? Estee Lauder. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Maybe if you want some money, you can buy some Estee Lauder products. They're a little expensive these days. Estee Lauder, today a global cosmetics empire with over $11 billion in revenue, started, like most businesses, as a small husband and wife team in 1946, brewing up just four products for local clients, including cleansing oil and all-purpose cream. Lipstick was not one of those products. Neither was eyeliner. For $1,000, it puts the lotion in the basket, skin lotion for the win, and we got 339 winners, baby! Ho! Oh. Three hundred thirty-nine winners posting and toasting to the finish line. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you feel like a winner here at HQ, and you're all taking home two dollars and ninety-five cents. That's two hundred ninety-five pennies. Think about that. It's a little heavier when you think of it that way. Two ninety-five. Go buy a go buy a cookie. It's Cookie Day still. National Cookie Day, right? Look, 
It's a little bit of money, but it goes a long way. It adds up. And you won. You beat over 300,000 people. That's incredible. Congrats to you. Thanks for playing HQ. If you didn't win tonight, guess what? We're back with another game tomorrow at 3 p.m.